Here's a quick tutorial on loading my avatars uh, from Gumroad that you have purchased. Um, my method in which I provide files is a little bit different than most people uh, would usually provide, which would be a Unity package file. But I prefer to send the entire project folder. Um, oftentimes, in my experience, when I try to download avatars from other people, they'll provide a Unity package. And when I open those packages, oftentimes uh, there are certain things that break uh, in the avatar descriptor, especially when it comes to um, certain settings on the descriptor, um, so certain things on the script break, or, uh, or even dynamic bones will be missing or lost. And so in order for me to preserve all of that with the avatars I make, um, I prefer to send the entire project folder. So there is a, a different method when it comes to importing these projects to your, um, into your account on VRChat. Um, so what you want to do is that once you downloaded the zip file, make sure you save this somewhere where you're going to remember to find it. Um, just go ahead and extract it. And once it's done extracting, um, you want to open up your Unity Hub or the launcher screen window that pops up if you open your the unity editor um, sometimes the differ the there's going to be a visual difference between the two depending on which one you open either unity hub or unity editor itself um, it's going to have two buttons up here in the corner that are going to say add or new or the editor will say open and new um, the one thing to avoid here is the new button we don't want to start a new project this is a mistake that a lot of people make with my projects is that they'll oftentimes start a new project and try to drag all the files in a new project but the project's already put together here so we're not going to start a new one we're just going to add a project because it's already built for you so we're going to go ahead and click this add or open button and we're going to look for the folder here and just select the folder don't open anything inside. We're only going to select the folder that contains everything. So we're just going to hit select folder and it's going to add the project onto your launcher. And we're going to go ahead and click that and let it open up. Now, once it loads, everything should be in place as I left it when I saved the project and uploaded it to Gumroad. It should appear the same way on your end. So once it's done compiling and loading here, um, everything should be in place. Uh, so long as you follow these directions, uh, everything should be there. Um, this particular project has someone's uh, customized skin, so I'm just going to hide this. Uh, the model that should pop up is this one here. Um, so if you'll notice on the, uh, on the prefab, the prefabs are already there in the sample scene. Um, if you don't see a sample scene, uh, just go out here, scenes, sample scene. I, I don't name them, but just load the scene from here. And this sh should appear because from my end, I saved it as a sample scene as by default when you start a new project. I didn't change anything. So the package, I guess, would be sample scene, but everything should be there if you open that project. By default, though, it should already open sample scene for you, and you should already have everything here. So you'll see the dynamic bones, the colliders are there. You'll see the avatar descriptor here. Everything's in place. So long as you follow those directions, everything should be there. So once you see that everything is in place, uh, what you want to do is log into your VR chat account. Um, so long as you have ranked up from visitor to new user new users are able to upload content such as avatars and worlds to your own account um, so once you've ranked up uh, you can go ahead and log into your vr chat account from here uh, with the vr chat sdk uh, control panel so you should see this menu here uh, show control panel um, mine should already be preset to show up on your window if not just go ahead and click here show control panel and uh, you'll be brought here to this authentication window uh, so you'll have two blank fields where you need to enter your uh, username and password 
So once you log in, you should see these two right here, allowed to publish worlds, allowed to publish avatars. Um, so once you see that, you're good to go. All you need to go uh, do is go here to Builder. From here, you should already be set. You know, nothing you really have to worry about here. So all you need to do is click the button down here at the very bottom, Build and Publish for Windows. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. So I'm going to do a little bit of a jump here in the video because it can sometimes take a while doing all that compressing and future proving and what have you. But eventually it should bring you here. Um, so from here we can set a put a name. So right now everything's blank. So just for the purpose of this uh, demonstration, um, it's a good thing that nothing was actually saved. Uh, we can actually just kind of put in things here from scratch. Uh, Sharing, we want to make sure that you want the avatar to be, uh, most people want it private because when they customize it, they set their own skin. They don't want other people to share it. Um, just go ahead and click this checkbox and then hit the upload process. But um, if you want to fix the thumbnail here, uh, what you want to do is go up here on this tab where it says scene. Click on this. And what we want to move is this camera. So if you go back to here, you'll see move the VRC cam to your preferred position. So we need to find this VRC cam. Go back to scene. And if you actually look here in the hierarchy, you'll see VRC cam is right here. So this camera object takes the picture of the thumbnail. So I'm going to go up here to inspector so I can move and adjust a few things. But we also have this gizmo here. We can move it around. Um, we actually click on this one right here to give us more options, more gizmos. So we can drag this and move it around, move it up. Um, right click or right click drag allows you to uh, pan around. The mouse middle button uh, allows you to drag and, or I guess this is rotate. Or, um, uh, pitch and then pan and then zoom of course scroll wheel uh, what we can do right here is use these little rings to turn the camera the arrows to reposition it move it closer move it up so it can bring it kind of up close to the face uh, there's this little cube panels here that you can drag it on a specific axis and if we like the camera angle and you're good with that, so there's our new preview thumbnail. So we can go click back to game, and then now we're ready to upload. So once you click that, upload it, and it should be um, available on your uh, VR Chat account. Um, so when you click the upload button, it's going to take another while to upload and send the file off. So just sit around and give that a few minutes, and then. It should show you a pop-up window that it's finished uploading. From there, you can log into the game and enjoy your new avatar.